Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be creating a Ray Dunn inspired measuring spoon organizer board using two main items that are from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get started with the project. All right, and here is a quick look at the supplies that I have out for this project. And the items from the Dollar Tree are a bamboo cutting board. You'll also need your measuring spoons and it actually comes in a big set like this with measuring cups too. So we're gonna be using the spoons today, but I really feel like you could kind of copy and mimic this project and make one for your measuring cups as well. I also have some removable hooks here, kind of command style hooks. And I bought two different kinds because I really like these because they don't stick out real far. Um, so I'm hoping these will work, but if these don't, then I have these as a backup. They're a little bit bigger. And there's nothing wrong with them if this is all you can find, but I thought, you know, more of a minimalist look might look better with this whole Ray Dunn style. And then for supplies here, I have some chalk paint in white, black, and gray, and some foam paint brushes. We're gonna be painting it white, so I just grabbed a couple uh, to distress the board with so it's not just plain, plain white. I also have a little hammer, and these are uh, sawtooth picture hangers that are in my Amazon favorite store and I'll link that down below but a lot of people ask me how I hang my signs and different things like that and I always use these they're really easy you just hammer them in so I have one to hang the spoon board with and then I also have a pair of scissors a pencil um, measuring tape and then this is the decal that I'll be using for this if you don't have a vinyl machine you could just use a sharpie marker and write it on um, you, if you do have a vinyl cutter, I'll have this file available in my Etsy shop, which is crossmyheart.com as an SVG file and a JPEG file. So if those work with your machine, you can order that from there and you'll get this exact look. And if you don't have a vinyl machine and you'd rather not do the Sharpie method, then I will also have this decal available in my Etsy shop, which is crossmyheart.com. And I'll link that down below and it'll come just like this cut and weeded with the transfer tape on the top so all you have to do is peel this on and stick it on there and now to get started i am going to work on my baseboard here and just paint it with two coats of white chalk paint All right, so now that my white paint is dry, I wanna give it a little bit of chippiness. I don't want it to look too white, white and perfect. So I just am going to hit the edges with my black paint and a foam paintbrush just to give it kind of that enamel chippy look. All right, so now that the paint has dried, I've flipped it over to the back. And I'm gonna use my measuring tape here to find the center of the board. And then I'm going to add my sawtooth picture hanger. So all you have to do is tap down the sides and those will insert into the wood and you will have a nice picture hanger on the back. All right, so I've just flipped this back over to the front side now. We're gonna work on applying our decal. If you have a vinyl cutter and want to recreate this, I made this a three and a half inch tall by seven and a half inch wide design. And if you purchase this file from my Etsy shop and crossmyheart.com, it will come sized like this already for you. Um, and if you purchase the decal from my Etsy shop, this will also come completely like this, ready to go. All you have to do is peel it off and stick it on, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. 
All right, so it already has the transfer tape on top, so you just wanna make sure you press this down with a squeegee or a credit card or a popsicle stick to make sure that your vinyl will stick to that transfer tape. And then you just peel this away from the paper backing and you don't need that anymore. And then we're gonna take our cutting board here and just take your time um, getting your decal positioned where you want it. It kind of helps if you have a ruler on hand so you can get it level and even. I'm just gonna use my measuring tape here just because that's what I have on hand. And I just wanna make sure that it is centered so I have the same amount of space on the sides and then also that the, there's the same space above here. All right, so now that I have it centered and where I want it, I'm just gonna take my squeegee again and press the vinyl down onto the board so that it adheres. And luckily, chalk paint likes to grab onto the vinyl, so it grips pretty well. So once we have this pressed all the way down, you just grab a corner of your transfer tape and slowly peel that off and away and then you're left with your design. If you have anything peeling up, all you have to do is push this back down and then reapply with your squeegee and go back and peel again. So you really wanna take your time because if you go fast, you could rip something and then you'll ruin your decal. All right, so here's a look at the design transferred. And as you can see, I left some space down here at the bottom because that's where we are going to put our little hooks. And I did a little trial run to make sure that the measuring spoons would fit over and sit nicely on the hook uh, that was the smaller size one. And what I did have to do is kind of pull this tab out away from the back a little bit just so it would slide on there easy. Um, because it was a little bit too close to that back piece. So if you just bend this out, it does um, kind of form and stay that way. So I am gonna go ahead and use these smaller size hooks for this, but you just kind of have to make that little bitty adjustment so that way it'll stay. So I'm just going to put four of these hooks on here, one under each one of these measurements, and then I'll add the little measuring spoons. All right, and one other thing I wanna go ahead and do before I apply these is you are going to see, like these are the command style hooks. So if you pull this down, it'll release from your wall and it won't damage your wall by just peeling it off like this. So that's the idea behind this, but we don't need to eventually come back and pull these off and reposition them. These are just gonna stay on here. So I'm going to cut this bottom part off so that whenever I hang these on here, you don't necessarily see those arrows back there. I feel like it kind of takes away from the piece and we don't really need them. So I went ahead and pulled all of these back in a way and I'm just going to cut those off and stick them on.
Thank you all so much for joining me for today's tutorial. Don't forget to check the link that I have down in the description box below to my Etsy shop where you can find those files and decals that will help you recreate this project. And I hope you'll take a second and give this video a thumbs up for me. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can stick around and join me every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.